We're in the music room now for a bit of Dixieland, Barrel House, Boogie and the Blues. Here is Circus Red and his freckles, and number one tune will be... When You're Smiling. <laughs> go! All right, Red, all right, freckles, here we go. <laughs> this time of the morning that is circus red what gonna do well they've been making some guest shots here in town they were on a show a local show here in uh, california last saturday the captain jet show mm -hmm. and of course they're very uh, proud about being on the uh, <laughs> the panorama pacific show the captain jet show is a show that i do red that's why they're laughing <laughs> that's another show i do all right we'll get back with old circus captain jet red in just a little bit and his dixie land boys the freckles so don't you go away hold the wire we'll be back in just a moment I wonder if I could ask the boy, I get my trombone player to kind of shashay over to the right a little bit while I talk with our drummer first. And your name again is what there, Buster? Bill Baldwin. Bill Baldwin. Mm -hmm. Bill, where do you live? In North Hollywood. Over in North Hollywood. Uh, what happens to a young man when he finally seriously says to his dad, I'm going to be a drum player? Do you start uh, building soundproof rooms or? Well, uh, you, go, uh, you go find a teacher first and then you buy a special practice pads. It has a rubber thing on it so you don't make too much noise when you start. And then when you uh, play about a year and a half, then you start getting your drums together. And everything. Start getting your drums together. Mm. But you do have a practice pad so yeah. that uh, uh, if you happen to hit it a little bit too loud, I've heard some folks say, take your drum and beat it, you know, because it makes too much. No one ever says that to you over, no, at, the, okay. over at the Baldwin place. Huh? How long have you been playing now, Billy? Oh, about four years. About four years. Do you take instruction from a pro? Yes. He kind of keeps you up on your paradiddles and then yeah. your uh, dippy whammels and all that sort of thing, huh? Yeah. Do you read drum music? Uh -huh. You can check right down there and read those spots right off. So in case you have a vaudeville show to play, you can razzmatazz at the right time, huh? Yeah. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve years old, and uh, in what grade at school? Um, B8. B8? All right. Now, there is the rundown on a young drummer that we have with the freckles this morning. I think maybe uh, Captain Jet will just kind of move along from left to right. And here, first trombone in the band. What's your name? Tim Doran. Tim Doran. And Timmy, where do you live? Over in Highland Park. Over in Highland Park. Been playing trombone now, I imagine, uh, from the way it sounds, five, six years? Just about. You like the Dixie? Yeah. You I'm like not. to play a little tailgate trombone and, and uh, peg in those notes and have fun, huh? Yeah. Have you changed, or is there two trombone players here this morning? Well, we have another boy that's... Uh, another boy that's... Uh, uh, substitute. He's working on the part, kind of too. A, kind of an understudy. Yeah. It's going to be that's nice right. to have you here. Now, here we have our, our cornet man. I'll call you cornet because this is Dixieland music this morning. Actually, that's a trumpet, isn't it? That's right. Now, what, uh, what's your name? Jay Diversa. Jay Diversa. Jay, you play fine lead horn already. You were only about, uh, what, 13? 12. 12 years old, been playing for some time. Yeah. Take instruction at school? No, I have private lessons. You have private lessons. A famous teacher? Well, he plays in all the... He's a studio man, and he plays in all the Jack Benny shows. And What's his name? Arthur Foster. Is more Arthur about. Foster. He's a very well-known musician over at Local 47. I wonder if I could uh, sneak behind you here a little bit so I could talk to the man with the banjo. Yeah, hello, Captain. Now, what's hello. your name? Frank Strait. Frank Strait. Yeah. You play it pretty straight. You hit the right chords, and I see you're reading some music here. Yeah. Who arranges this music, Frank? Do you do this? No. This, we have a arranger. You have an arranger? Yeah. And you get together in your rehearsal hall yeah. or in someone's home, and 
you kind of woodshed it out until you know what you're doing. Yeah. What sort of banjo is this you're playing? That's a straight tenor, tenor banjo, banjo, isn't yeah. it? Have any trouble with it? No. Uh, yeah, good uh, how old are you now, Frank? Twelve. Twelve years old, and where do you go to school? Clark Junior yeah. High. Clark Junior High, and you make your home where? La Crescenta. Over in La Crescenta. Yeah. You keep beating on that. Do you play yeah. guitar, too? No, I don't. Well, you'll switch over one of these days. All right. Now, here we have the man, Mr. Lickery Stick, and he's a fine fellow. What's your name? Mm, Bob Crosby. What? Bob huh? Crosby. Bob I, I enjoy your show every day. <laughs> well, you're a fine fellow, Bob. Uh, are you in a relation to, uh, to the uh, famous Bob Crosby? Nope. None at all? Nope. Well, now, isn't that funny? Because Bob Crosby made his name originally with the Bobcats, which was a very... Uh, the important Dixieland band in the in the 30s. Uh, what Crosby clan do you belong to? Well, there's two clans. There's those that's got a lot of money and those that don't have a lot of money. Are you with those that do or don't? Well, I can say kind of in sure. the middle of the road. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what Bob always says. He says I belong to the clan that doesn't have the money. Bing's got all of that. Are you play clarinet, Bobby? And how long have you been playing? Uh, three and a half years. Three and a half years. Do you play a little alto or tenor along on the uh, occasion? No, I haven't, but I'm going to definitely gonna, later on. You're going to switch over, aren't you? Mm -hmm. and where do you go to school, Bob? Um, Roosevelt Elementary and Burbank. And you make your home in Burbank. over in Burbank. Well, I think right now that runs down the personnel in pretty fair shape. Of course, we have a young fellow over here at the piano who, uh, well, he goes long for the ride. His name is Bud Herman. Uh, am I supposed to say that this morning? Well, I suppose so. We've got to have a little background. And now, here is Circus Red and a tune called... After You've Gone. After You've Gone. Let her rip. <laughs> he did everything but go through the sound barrier right there, didn't he? Well, Bobby, that is fine clarinet, Frank, and uh, all of you boys. Uh, you don't have to pack up and leave yet, do you? You don't want anyone to be late at school, but I know that uh, some of these chops are just beginning to go. <laughs>
you frightened me there a little bit, Turkus Red. Uh, it's all right, though. That's the Darktown Strutter's Ball. And, uh, we...